82, Vice uh, Chairman Garrett, you're recognized. Second. We have a motion and a second. You're recognized, Chairman Garrett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would be remiss. I'm going to ask for this to be taken um, off notice, but I know that my um, and we're, we're, pizza's getting cold. My constituent, Mr. Gentry, has been here uh, since we've started this committee, and I don't know. He was confused a little bit about which bill he was 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 on, and I don't know if the committee would indulge since he's been here this long to see if he needs to speak on this bill, even though I do plan to take it off notice, but I certainly know he's been here since we've started, which has been a little bit over three hours ago. If if the committee would indulge me to hear what he has to say, I would appreciate saying. I, I appreciate that. Mr. Gentry, uh, I think we heard most of your comments. Do you have additional comments that, all right. Uh, does anyone have any objection? I hate to do him that way. Uh, I, certainly, you're welcome. There's no objection to come up and Thank conclude, you, Mr. conclude your remarks. Out of session. So I'm going to recap over what we talked about earlier, just to make sure we're all on the same. Well, you have, you have four minutes. So, yes, sir. So uh, the, the um, Article 5, Section 1 of the Tennessee Constitution grants the sole power of impeachment to the House. Article 4, Section 6 empowers the legislature to remove judges. And public welfare uh, demands that these protections be returned to the House where they belong, not with the judiciary. Uh, in, in 1822, uh, uh, Governor Carroll, our third governor for Tennessee, he said a well-regulated independent judiciary is so essential to the character of the state uh, that it has a strong claim on your attention at all times. That was to the General Assembly, our third governor, because they had uh, huge problems in the judiciary even back then. Tennessee Constitution, Article 2, Section 3, the powers of the government are divided into three distinct, distinct branches, legislative, judicial, executive. And under section two of the same article, no person belonging to one of those departments shall exercise powers properly belonging to another. So clearly in the constitution, uh, the legislature was empowered to impeach and remove. Those are powers for the legislature, judicial power is only the power to decide cases at controversy. And the Tennessee Constitution in uh, Article 6, establishing the judiciary, only grants judicial power. So this responsibility needs to come, it needs to come back to the House. Uh, it's also in Article 6, Section 7, a judge shall not hold any office of trust or, or profit uh, if they're a judge. And, and, and being on the Board of Judicial Conduct is absolutely an office of trust. And quite frankly, one that's abused by the Board of Judicial Conduct on a very routine basis. Uh, and there's a reason that our framers of our Constitution put into there that there, they should have no other office. It's because uh, the executive branches would give them an office and have favor or hear, you know, uh, with the judiciary, they're protecting each other very often. That's why they framed it in the Constitution and said they'll have no other office of public trust because they have so much power as judges. Um, we have a question already before the House questioning the constitutionality. It's been filed in a petition of remonstrance before both houses. We need to answer that question first before we start addressing this one. Uh, since its inception in 1971, Tennessee's judicial oversight agencies have not impeached a single judge. Uh, your first handout is an auditor's compilation report. Uh, it's across 18 states. And this auditor's compilation report proves that they dismiss 100% of complaints filed by non-legal professionals. I flagged a section in that report. It's actually Kentucky's report, uh, but it's the same story everywhere. Uh, you can see on the chart, they're all filed, all the majority of the complaints are filed by litigants and it's due to legal error. It's not legal error. These judges know the law. It's, 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 it's false application of law uh, due to bias uh, or conspiracy to deprive rights very often is what's causing this. That's why we need to protect people by bringing this power uh, back to the house. Uh, we recently had uh, Tennessee judge Casey Moreland uh, was sentenced uh, in, in federal court. 
He bribed a police officer $6,000 to plant drugs in the trunk of a car to be discovered in a, tra in a staged traffic stop. Uh, Casey Moreland was diagnosed with mental disorder since 2009. He moved out of his marital home due to infidelity, had alcohol problems, Mr. Mr. and the Gentry, Board of Judicial Conduct admitted Mr. receiving Gentry, and you're, dismissing you're, you're multiple Your four minutes complaints. are up. Since you've been so courteous today with all we've done, if you'd like to take one minute and wrap up, I'll be glad to accommodate you in that Thank regard. Thank you very much for that, sir. Um, so multiple replaint, complaints were received and dismissed against Moreland. In the petition of remonstrance, I've included a complaint uh, that was filed with the Board of Just Judicial Conduct that was wrongfully well, dismissed. Well, Mr. Gentry, if you're not going to address the bill, then I'm going to cut you off. We're not here to try the remonstrance. Oh, well, uh, uh, we're creating a new judicial oversight agency, the Board of Professional Responsibility now. It, it has the same function as the Board of Judicial Conduct. And what I'm addressing with these facts is this agency is not doing its job. It's in violation of the separation of powers doctrine. Uh, it, they are exercising powers not granted to them. Uh, and, they're, and they're holding a second office of trust that they shouldn't have. And I'm imploring uh, this committee and, and the House and the Senate uh, that we need to return this power back to the legislature. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we went a little over, but with the courtesies that he's shown today, I felt like we owed him that. So thank you. Um, thank you for your participation. All right, now do we have a motion on the bill? Uh, back in session. Mr. Uh, Chairman, without any objection, I'd like to take that all right. bill off notice. Off notice. Next, House Bill 670 by Chairman Daniel. Do we have a motion? I'm sorry. Chairman. Yes, sir. I'd like to uh, take that off notice, please. Off notice. Number 15.